number one Iron Age booty daddy. That's what I am doing. Okay. So, take a guess how many people I've had on my channel. And I've reached out to other people. I'm like, dude, this project is really good. And they go, I, I wish I could promote it, man. But like that person has beef with me or I have beef with them. And I just, I can't get them on my show. For the small circle of influencers that I can reach out to. Small handful. Got 42, 48, 48, 48 episodes. Right? Right? Some person had beef. They were a smaller creator. They needed to fund. They wanted to fund. So I reached out to people who could potentially help them. But that person had already gone after the people. That smaller creator had already had beef on Twitter with the person that I was trying to reach out to to help them fund their comic. And then I've seen people go at much larger creators. It's the verbiage that is used. Frost, I may not finish your comment here, but you had a fantastic comment. I, I, everybody go, go read it. Okay. Okay. Instead of going and saying, man, why are you talking about the mainstream gobbledygook that's just really bad? We know you already don't like it. We know it feeds your algorithm. Why don't you dedicate something to something new? Instead of saying that to people, which will inevitably piss creators off, and I've been seeing more and more comments of this. Instead of doing that, why not go in and say, hey man, hopefully that algorithm gets fixed for you. And maybe one of these days, uh, maybe one of these days you could shout, you know, uh, I could get you to check out my project and you could do a video, right? Figure out how to say what you're saying differently because I, I have had the problem where I talk with people and I just, and then all of a sudden in DMs, people are like, oh yeah, by the way, this person, this, this person. And there's already this, there's already, because everybody gets so wrapped up in just saying dumb shit about other people on Twitter that you literally cut yourself off at the knees and you lose all of your fucking marketing. It's not that fucking hard. Just don't sit there and fucking slam. Hey, big creator, why are you covering? Why are you covering thing like this? Oh, is it because you don't like this? Don't fucking say that shit. Like, this video wasn't inspired by one or two comments. I've been watching this shit for months. I've even reached out on behalf of other creators and got told they couldn't do anything with those people because those people already don't like them. You have no fucking reason as a small creator to not like somebody else so fucking much you fucking pull up the drawbridge to be able to market your shit. It's fucking retarded. That's, that's what this is all about. You guys are small creators and yes, I've got an open door policy for a lot of you guys. But when you're already pulling up the drawbridge from other people that I could reach out to for you, even I can't help. Think about the shit you guys are saying to other people. I want, dude, I see so many fantastic creators out there. I see things that are get me excited. And it fucking sucks that I want to dedicate time and dump my time into being a fan channel for a bunch of people out there. And they're out there talking smack. And they're out there trying to do half-ass snide fucking comments to larger creators that could give them a platform infinitely larger than mine.
Sometimes there are things that are better left unsaid. And I just realized why I kind of went hard at some of the smaller craters. Not all of them, but some of them. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my adrinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.